Hey, so I just got done filming. Well, no, I didn't just get done. Earlier today, I filmed a video, and now that I'm done filming it, I started. Ooh, I look so. I look really red. I swear I'm not warm. I'm cold. <laughs> um, but I, like I said, I filmed a separate video today. Um, that I already posted, so I hope you uh, were able to check it out. If not, I hope you can go check it out now. It was a, it was about um, just some motivation and preparation for the new year. Um, and even though you know the new year has technically already started, it's not too late to set some goals for yourself. So go ahead and watch that video if you are needing a little inspiration. I really just wanted to. I wanted to vlog this week, so here's me. Here's my start. I'm just downstairs in my office. I'm thinking I might go and organize like my bathroom. Yeah, there's a couple other things I wanted to do today. It's already f almost five. Uh, like I said, I wanted to vlog this week. So yeah, here's me just getting started and I'm gonna take you along. Um, like I said, I might organize stuff in my bathroom and there's a few other things I wanted to share with you, so I'll hop on. I'll hop back on when I think of those. Hey, so I mentioned that I wanted to reorganize this space in my bathroom. Uh, the bathroom cabinet has just become kind of a cluttered mess. Um, my husband's stuff is pretty neat down below there, but I just really wanted to reorganize my stuff in a way that made sense rather than having random stuff sitting out because what happened is I would leave out all the items that I would use on a regular basis and then it just yeah it wasn't organized First off, I just went through to see everything I had. When I first organized these bins, I org organized it by category. So in one, I had all my skincare items. The other one, I had a variety of like self-care day stuff. And then I had one more for, I don't even know. So what I did, I just reorganized it in a way that, like I said, made more sense. Um, in one of the bins, I put everything that I use on a daily basis and then I took another bin that with things that I use maybe on more of a weekly basis and then the last one I really thought about everything I had and I put in the last one the things that I'm rarely reaching for so may maybe that I'm using on more of like a monthly basis so the things I use every day I made them more accessible and then the things I'm not using as often I just put up top and back so I could still reach them but um, again just put the things that I'm using daily in front where I could easily reach them. Happy Sunday. I am just down in my office for a little bit. We're going to watch the Vikings play the Lions and yeah I'm just preparing for the Vikings to get their butts kicked but you never know. Anything can happen I guess. I just wanted to check in and share some things that I'm up to today. I really want to paint my nails. This is called sprinkled with love it's like this blue teal like really glittery color i thought it would be really pretty for the new year just to have some fun sparkly nails so i'm gonna do that sometime today in an upcoming video i will be sharing uh, my specific goals and resolutions that i'm focusing on this year and i'll just go through them more in depth but what i have are just there's a few things 
that I've printed out that I'm going to be using as tools. That's what I've been trying to focus on this weekend is just put plans in place and routines, timelines, things like that. So something I really wanted, to, what I'm really focusing on is, I guess, just loving, loving myself. Uh, and mainly knowing my identity in Christ. I have struggled with self-esteem, low self-esteem, and uh, for a lot, a lot of my life, we'll say. And I found this 31-day, um, I just poked myself in the eye, um, this 31 days of declarations to know your identity in Christ. And it just looks like a great resource to be able to uh, just learn, learn. I'm still learning about my worth, um, but really just focusing in on my identity in Christ. I have this binder that I had intentions of using, I think a couple years ago now. I wanted to use it as a way to just get organized, track my progress and I kind of just I let kind of let go of it so I'm gonna like revamp it this for this year inside I had started to I started printing out like different recipes that I'd either find in magazines but yeah I have all these other seeds in here so my plan is to just make this binder into a place where I can keep my progress find inspiration things like that. So with this um, reading plan guide, I'm going to do like a three, I'll just put the three hole punch, I think, and just put it in here. Something else I really want to do this year is make a vision board. And I think I mentioned in my previous video that I use Pinterest a lot to um, just pin my inspiration and things like that. But I think it will be really helpful for me to actually create a physical vision board that I put together myself and where I can see all of my visions, all my dreams in one spot. And I think what I'll do is put it right here. But yeah, I'll get into all of my goals specifically in an upcoming video. I think I'm going to have a couple of upcoming videos. My next video, I think I'll share with you my goals and my resolutions and then talk to you more about how I'm planning on working towards those and how I plan on yeah, making progress. So I'll share with you more things like this. I can share with you my binder once I get it organized. And then I think it'd be fun to do a, another separate video uh, making my vision board because maybe you're thinking about doing one. So maybe that'll be inspiration and we can do it together. I think that'd be great. We still have our tree up. Let me know if you take your Christmas decorations down right away or if you leave them up. Uh, my husband and I, this is our first Christmas in our house. We had an apartment last year um, during our first year of marriage uh, and all we put up was a Christmas tree. But now that we have our house, we have our tree, we put up stockings, we put up some garland. We have some little other decorations throughout. I don't mind keeping it up like through January. <laughs> we'll see how we feel. We'll see how we feel. But for right now, I don't mind having it up a little bit longer. Um, let me see. Why did I come over here? Oh yeah. I wanted to show you a new little addition we made to our kitchen space. We were at Target today and my husband saw this one and it's, I think it's really cute. He just thought it would be nice because it already has the days separated and then it even includes a space for weekend meals. And then there's three little areas for personal goals, acts of kindness, and then things I'm thankful for. And I just think this is just a really nice space to rate because we have been meal planning already, but um, I just like that this is bigger and there's more space to write on. And then plus, I love this three extra spaces for writing some other things. So we did this today and the plan is to every Sunday write out our meals. So tomorrow we're gonna have quesadillas, Tuesday pizza, Wednesday we're gonna do pork and 
sweet potatoes. We'll do some kind of breakfast, whether like waffles, pancakes, whatever. And then Friday we're gonna have burgers. Um, not like the healthiest options here, but I'm really trying to tie in more like vegetables and like healthier sides. So like with burgers, instead of having chips, which I typically would, I'm going to try to tie in some kind of vegetable. Same with all of the other items, fruits or vegetables. So yeah, and then personal goals. So I want to cook at least one meal every week because if you know, or if you don't know, my husband is the chef in the family. <laughs> I don't I haven't cooked much so that's our goal is to have me more involved some things we want to do out of kindness we're gonna give a thank you card to our neighbor they um, snow they cleared the snow off our driveway when we were gone one day so that was really sweet and then I'm wanting to send out family birthday cards and then just every week we're gonna write something we're thankful for so my husband said everything and I thought about it more and I just was really grateful and thankful for family and then for the new year for a fresh start. So the plan is every week to update this as we would normally with the meals, but including some goals we're working on. Um, just some things that we can go out of our way to be kind, more kind to people and then just remember the things we're thankful for. Hello, hello. So I did just paint my nails, as you saw. I think they turned out really pretty. They're like this blue, green, just like sparkly color. It's the Sally Hansen Gel Polish. And this product tends to last on my nails for a week or so. It usually ends up chipping on my right hand just because I'm using that more. But I haven't painted my nails in a week or so, so I thought it'd be nice to just get a fresh coat on. I do plan on watching some uh, college basketball <laughs> coming up here at 4.30 and it's 4.15. As I mentioned earlier, I have been, I've wanted to work on a few things to just get me set up for success when it comes to um, just making changes and reaching some new goals that I've set for myself. So one of the things I mentioned was just working in this binder, putting this together, and I'm going to work on this more throughout the week. I don't have a hole puncher here at home. I have one at school, so I'm going to do that when I get there tomorrow, and then I'll spend a little bit more time in there. And then also on Pinterest, I've been working on a, I've been working on a board, uh, and what I did, I just titled it the like the phrase or the quote that I yeah like the phrase that I came up with I think I'm calling it like my focus phrase <laughs> just um, a couple words of encouragement to save myself when I am when I am in my weak moments because it's it's so easy for me to let my thoughts like spiral out of control and I can be really negative really easily so I think it's important for me to have like a focus phrase. So the one I came up with for this year is new me, be free. Just like the concept of freedom and being free has really been weighing on me this year because of my, um, I guess like my thought life. I feel like I've been really negative. I've been really fearful and living in fear and, um, Lately, I've really heard God talking to me and speaking to me about the fear, the fear that I've let bind me, the fear that I've allowed to hold me back from so many opportunities in my life. So um, really just focusing on 
my freedom and knowing that I can be free from those negative thoughts and that negative thought pattern that I used to live in. So that's just a quote I came up with. So like I said, I, on Pinterest, I titled my board, New Me, Be Free. And right now I have it, I have it set as like a secret board, so it's private. Um, and that's totally up to you when you make one, if you want to share it with the public or not. But I'll just show you a few things here. So as I said, I titled it New Me, Be Free. But what I've done, I've just pinned things that um, are inspiring to me, things that are motivating to me, and also related to some other goals. So if you notice, I do have a couple of yellow lab puppies on here. My husband and I do plan to get a puppy this year. And so I've also included just things to look forward to. Different quotes like this says, take your dreams seriously. There's a couple of ladies that I really look up to when it comes to health and fitness. One is Whitney Simmons. Uh, and then another one is Romy. I don't know how to say her last name. She's a Victoria's Secret model and she just had a baby. So congratulations to her. Um, but just some ladies that I really looked up to um, as far as health and wellness. Um, some other quotes, be the girl who decided to go for it. Um, have some verses on here. Uh, like this one relates to Matthew 20, faith can move mountains. Uh, this one, be afraid, do it anyway. And then I did put on here some just like healthy recipes I would like to try. Some fun hairstyles. And yeah, I don't have a ton on here yet. I just made this a week or two ago. And I'm, I'm being a little more intentional about, intentional about what I put in here because I want this to be a resource that I can look back on. Um, so instead of just mindlessly scrolling through Pinterest, I can come to this board that has these quotes and whatnot that are really specific to what I'm trying to achieve. So yeah, if you haven't made a Pinterest board, I would highly recommend it. And then what I'm going to do, and I'm going to work on that uh, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll be taking and I'll just like download some of these pictures and I will get them printed. Like I might either use Shutterfly or go through Target. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to get the photos printed that and so that I can use them on my um, vision board that I'm going to be creating. And I'm really excited about that. And I wasn't, I don't think I was really planning on doing one. This year, but I saw a uh, Cami Cami Carter here on YouTube. She made one and she recorded herself creating it, and I just thought it was a really good idea and really fun. And it definitely inspired me to not only make one but to just really get after my own goals. So it's really fun to see what other people are working on this year. All right, I only have a few minutes before the game starts, so. One thing I want to do before that, so I've done this before. I've taken like before photos whenever I'm on like a fitness or wellness journey. I've taken photos, um, yeah, like a before picture or like a day one to look back on, but I have never been consistent with them. Like I'll take one and then... I've kind of just given up on my goals or I stopped taking it seriously and I don't um yeah I haven't consistently tracked my progress so one of my goals is to be more consistent this year and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go take some like before pictures and I might do like a little video uh I don't think that I will share that <laughs> maybe someday I can share that with you guys but um, more for just like my own personal use just to see how I am progressing so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then like I said I'm gonna watch the game with my husband and then I might be back down here later I wanted to switch out my purse and then prep a few things for the school day tomorrow so um yeah maybe I'll see you guys soon if not I'll check in tomorrow
Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday, January 4th. So it's my first day back. Uh, first day back at work. And if you do not know, I am a special education teacher at an elementary school. And we are following the distance learning model as of right now. So I'm, <laughs> I'm back to work, but working from home, if that makes sense. So I have been logged on and checking emails, just doing all the little things I like to do to prepare for the school day. Um, also, as you saw, I changed up a few things in my morning routine, specifically um, I got up a little earlier than I had been because uh, normally if school were in session as it typically would be in person I would get up at 5 30 and I would leave for school at about 6 6 20 6 30 I'd be out the door so now that I'm working at home I would sleep in a little longer and just take my time but today I you know I'm trying to break some not necessarily bad habits but old habits that weren't necessarily benefiting me so I am taking a new approach. I woke up a little earlier. I made sure I ate some breakfast and I read my devotional and then I started getting ready as I normally would. Uh, and I hope to continue with that for the rest of the time that we are in distance learning. Um, if we go back in person, things will obviously change again. But anyways, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> work on checking my emails. Yeah, I'll check in if anything exciting happens. This is a vlog, so I've tried to document some things that I've been up to. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to work on some emails and prepare for my first, first lesson of the day. Oh, I did want to say, I think I've gotten just like, I've let myself get really lazy in all aspects of my life. I've just, yeah. I've definitely let myself become relaxed, content, complacent. I haven't really been pushing myself, so that's that's going to change starting right now. And just the littlest things, like sitting here at my desk, like, you know, I'd have this cozy blanket. I'm still going to put it on my feet because it's cold down here, but things like that just, or, you know, I'm not going to lie, like, when it came to, like, the week or so before Christmas break, you know, I was doing prep, I was prepping all my lessons, but I would do them the morning of, or, like, minutes before I had my lessons, and that needs to change, like, I have been procrastinating, and yeah, like I said, just being lazy. So here's some encouragement to just try some new things to better yourself, um, change things in your routine. I just thought I needed to say that. I'm wanting to wrap up this vlog, so I thought it would be fun to do that by just doing a little unboxing with you, I did get an Amazon order that came in. I just ordered a few things, nothing too extravagant, but I am excited about these products because I found some things that I haven't used before or I haven't used in a long time, and I'm excited to see how they work. So let's unbox those. and I'll show you what I found. All right, you guys, first thing. These are socks that um, I think, what's her name? Oh, Alex, Alex Garza. She recommended these. They're like no-show, uh, they're like no-show socks. And I've been trying to find some that actually, that are comfortable and that actually stay up on your feet. So, um, I might actually need to wear some of these today, but we'll see. They're by the, it's the brand. This is the brand. 
much different um, like color combination options but I just went with the black white gray and like tan or cream color I'm just gonna unwrap the black one and see how they fit how they feel but yeah Alex was like raving about these and I've been looking for no-show socks definitely not a necessity but if it's a item you're looking for maybe these will work out this is what they look like and the big thing here is that they have this grip on the heel doesn't that look nice i'm pretty sure there's different sizes i wear um my shoe size is eight and a half so i can post whatever size i decided on for these oh wow yeah, you can already tell that they're going to fit nicely. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll wear these around. I'll wear these today, and then I'll wear them with my shoes to school. And maybe I'll put a little review in my description box. So if you're interested in trying these, I'll let you know how they wore today. I did get an Amazon gift card from one of the parents of a student that I work with. So I figured I'll just, I'll treat myself to something. So of course it ended up being Chloe. Um, I haven't really gotten into the like matching like lounge sets. I haven't really purchased any, like I've definitely purchased like little sweatpants or like crop tops, but nothing like not like a matching set. So I saw this one on Amazon and I loved the color. And then I just love the little stripe detail. And who knows if I'll wear this out and about ever, um, or maybe I'll just be wearing it at home. Either one sounds good to me. <laughs> so this is the top like a little crew neck sweater and then it has matching sweatpants and they seem pretty thin like pretty pretty lightweight which is okay I mean that's kind of what I was expecting nice and stretchy okay has a drawstring that's actually functional that's good and then the same that's same stripes on the sleeve it's also on it's on one of the pant legs and then it does have a cinched ankle. I do have long legs, so we'll see how this fits, if they're long enough. Um, it's hard to tell, but I will, I'll try these on so you guys can see how it fits. And I'll put all the details of these items in the description if you are curious about them, if you, um, if you like how they look and whatnot so that you're able to find them easily. And this came in a ton of different colors too. It's not a game, it's a rich thing. Alright, so I just tried this on. It is pretty see-through. I feel like though, like with the top, you can make sure you're just wearing like an undershirt. It's really, feels really comfortable. The sleeves, when I stretch out my arm, I mean, it doesn't get too short, which is nice. Um, it does have this nice little detail, little slit there, and it's fairly long in the back. And yeah, the drawstring works. I mean, I would probably wear it more high rise. I don't know. I guess it depends on the fit that you like. But yeah, overall, it feels really comfy and super cute. And I think this one was like 30, I think it was like 30 bucks. Um, and they had a ton of different colors. And the last thing I got from Amazon, this kind of random. Well, I say that because I did, 
I did a hair tutorial in a previous video and I realized that I curl my hair majority of the time. I hardly straighten it and I don't know what it is. Like I feel like the straightener I have is a really high quality, like it's a great product. And I was thinking about, thinking back to like high school and I loved to straighten my hair. I had like the same length hair that I do now and it might have been even longer, but I straightened my hair all the time. I loved how it looked. It was always so soft. And I was like, whenever I try to straighten it now, like the products I'm using, even, I don't know, the combination just isn't there and I'm not, it never turns out. I always have pieces that are like still wavy, whatever. But I thought back to when I used to straighten my hair and I remembered that there was this product that I used and it was from the hair salon that I used to go to. And I like swore by this and it made my hair so straight and so smooth. So I got, I was looking online to see like, can I buy this item? And on Amazon, sure enough, it's from Regis. So the Regis, that's where I used to get my hair cut. So it's the design line, get it pressed flat iron spray. So like I said, I swore by this stuff. This It smells really good and it just, it makes your hair so smooth. This stuff is like, I think like 20 bucks. I, I definitely noticed a difference with this stuff when straightening my hair. So I'm going to try this out again and see if I can get the same result. I'm going to give this a go. Um, and let me know if you've tried this before. Yeah, maybe in an upcoming video, I can share how this works for me. So that is going to be a wrap on today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for more vlogs, more hair tutorials, fashion content, lifestyle content in general. If you did like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because it really does support my channel. Thanks again for watching. Take care, guys. I'll see you in my next one. It's not a game, it's a rich thing.